Before we get into this video, I just want to say this is a follow-up to my video, What Would Marvel vs. Capcom 4 Look Like? If you haven't seen that one, click the annotation on screen to be taken there. Feel free to come back to this video when you're done with that one. So, with Street Fighter V, Capcom proved they can handle pumping out a ton of characters for a game post-launch. There are officially more characters in Street Fighter V that were some type of DLC than base roster characters, which is insane. In this video, I'm going to apply that same idea to my Marvel vs. Capcom 4 concept. I've come up with four seasons of six characters that in my head would be distributed across four years. Before I reveal the first pack, I just want to briefly explain how I picked the rosters of characters for each DLC pass. I wanted to try and balance what's popular at the moment and what would make longtime fans happy. With Capcom, it mostly focuses on the latter, since the base roster covers everything that's popular for Capcom at the moment. At least, in my opinion, it does. For Character Pack 1, we have Miles Morales, Rogue, Reed Richards, Asura, Rashid, and John Talbain. Miles is a no-brainer, he got his own movie and is getting his own AAA game. There's no reasonable explanation for leaving him out of the roster, especially because his powers are so different to what actual Peter Parker's powers are, so he wouldn't even be a clone character. Rogue is a classic character with a lot of love in the Versus community, and Reed would be sick. His power set is pretty unique and he'd represent the Fantastic Four, and in modern days he has that sexy ass beard. Asura is just one of those Capcom characters I see in every list or article covering most wanted characters for future MVC games. Rashid is definitely the coolest Street Fighter V character in my opinion, and the representation he'd bring to the roster is also a huge benefit. Wind powers are also sick, so there's a lot to love with the Rashid pick. And finally, John Talbane. I want more Darkstalkers and he's an obvious pick. For Character Pack 2, we have Ant-Man, Scarlet Witch, Nightcrawler, Proto-Man, Ruby Heart, and Hayato. Here's the thing, Ant-Man's powers are too damn cool and unique not to make him playable. I feel like there's so much potential, so much more than even what Injustice 2 did with Adam. Scarlet Witch is popular, she's probably my favorite MCU woman right now, and she brings some badass abilities. And then, finally, come on, it's fucking Nightcrawler. I don't know anybody that doesn't love Nightcrawler. Proto Man is kind of the big money draw for this pack. Every human being ever loves this dude's design. And why not show some more love to Mega Man as a series? Ruby Heart is for the Marvel 2 fans out there. And really quick, I want to give a huge shout out to the artist who drew her art. I couldn't find a good PNG for her anywhere, but I found this drawing. The artist's deviant art is Denderado, and I'll link it in the description below. Please go check him out, he's a talented guy. And finally, Hayato is another character for those long-term fans. Moving on to character pack 3, we have Carnage, Blade, Jubilee, Lady, Jin Sayatome, and Edward Falcon. This is the pack for the more die-hard fans. For Marvel, this means Carnage, Blade, and Jubilee. Badass characters that fans have loved for a very long time now. With Capcom, this means Lady Jin and Ed Falcon, two of which being from dead IPs that people adore still, and Lady is just the best Capcom girl, aside from Ada Wong. And last but certainly not least, we have the fourth pack. This one sends the DLC out with a fucking bang. We have Winter Soldier, Human Torch, Iceman, Kin, Dimitri Maximoff, and Tron. Winter Soldier is our resident gunman. This slot was almost taken by the Punisher, but I just feel like Bucky is more interesting. He has the guns and the sick robot arm. Human Torch is the most popular member of the Fantastic Four, so he's a great second rep for the team. I don't think a member of the Fantastic Four has ever been playable in Marvel vs. Capcom. In fact, I know they haven't. So it'd be really cool to get two of them. And then finally for Marvel, Iceman. He's just huge in terms of popularity. Every person I've ever met loved Iceman as a kid. I feel like everybody just thinks he's really cool, no pun intended. There's not a lot of Ice characters in this roster anyway, so he'd be very welcome for the moveset alone. But in combination with his popularity, he's an obvious pick. For Capcom, Ken is, you know, 
Ken fucking Masters. There's no need to hype him up, he's just the best Street Fighter character, he's the coolest guy. Dimitri is the male protagonist of Darkstalkers, it's about damn time he got into Marvel. I'm gonna be honest with you, he is so cool, he's one of the coolest vampires in video games, and somehow he's not in Marvel vs. Capcom. And then Tron is probably the least hype of these, but people still love her, man. And I have to put her in. And that about wraps it up for us. Those are my picks for DLC for my Marvel vs. Capcom 4 concept. I had a great time making these rosters, and please try to understand, there are just so many popular characters, it'd be impossible to please everybody. As a matter of fact, some of these DLC packs were almost completely changed. I changed almost every Marvel character in the final DLC pack. Here's what the ones I changed look like. Uh, so if you see any characters on screen right now that aren't in this video, just know they are honorable mentions and barely missed the cut. Anyways, thanks for watching this far. Feel free to subscribe and like if you enjoyed what you watched. I've really been enjoying these hypothetical fighting game videos I've been making. I think they're by far my favorite videos on the channel, and I definitely plan on making more. In fact, my next two are on Fire Emblem and Star Wars. I love them both, and I just have so many ideas for both of them. And if those sound cool to you, turn on the notification bell just so you know when they come up and you don't miss the videos. And if there's a series you really want a fighting game for, please mention that in the comments down below. And I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Thanks again for giving me your time, and I'll smell you guys later.